Has the 0x1A security violation error ever popped up on your screen bringing your work to a grinding halt? This error, though common, can be a real thorn in the side. But fret not, because today we unravel the mystery behind this pesky problem and present two main methods to resolve it, enrolling security credentials and disabling security features. First, let's take a look at disabling security features. This method involves turning off certain security mechanisms in the BIOS, such as Secure Boot or TPM. When Secure Boot is turned off, the system can boot non-signed operating systems or bootloaders, giving a lot of flexibility when dealing with custom operating systems or drivers. Disabling TPM, meanwhile, can be a boon when dealing with legacy applications or certain hardware configurations. But remember, this method, while providing temporary solutions to compatibility issues, does not offer a long-term fix and could potentially leave your system vulnerable. Now let's consider the enrollment method. Enrolling security credentials. This is a more secure and recommended way to resolve the 0x1A security violation error. It involves three main steps. To begin with, you need to access the security settings on your system. This can usually be found under the settings or control panel of your operating system. Once there, search for the security and privacy section. The next step involves enrolling or updating your security credentials. This could be your username and password, or it could be more sophisticated like biometrics or a security key. Make sure to follow the prompts and complete the enrollment process. Finally, after you have successfully enrolled or updated your credentials, restart your system. This allows the changes to take effect and should resolve the 0x1A security violation error. Similarly, enrolling keys with a TPM can securely store sensitive data and authenticate the system to remote servers. There's also the option to enroll key from disk. This method allows you to add a cryptographic key stored on a disk to the system's MOK list, extending trust to additional software components beyond those already trusted by default. Enrolling a key from disk and enrolling a hash from disk are methods used in MOK management to add trust to software components during the secure boot process. Each method offers different levels of control over the trust relationships established by secure boot. So, what's the takeaway? Be careful when disabling security features, as it can expose the system to security risks. Only turn off these features when absolutely necessary, and turn them back on once the issue is resolved to maintain a secure computing environment. Regularly update BIOS firmware and security settings to ensure protection against emerging threats. In contrast, the security disable method provides a quick fix for compatibility issues but could potentially compromise the system's security. The enrollment method, on the other hand, 
ensures system integrity and authenticity by establishing trust in the system's software and firmware. In essence, resolving a 0x1a security violation error requires a careful balancing act between these two methods. Disabling security features for immediate compatibility solutions or enrolling security credentials for long-term system integrity and trust. Your system security is paramount and understanding these methods can help maintain a secure computing environment. So the next time a 0x1 a security violation error rears its ugly head, weigh your options carefully. Thanks for tuning in today and remember, always stay secure. Hey.